All right, ladies and gentlemen, today what we're doing speaks for itself. We got the entire herd gathered around right here and we got our little Phoebe taking a little potty and she loves to do that to begin all of my videos, I'm guessing. Is that gonna be your new thing? You're gonna use the potty every time I start a video? <laughs> oh, she's already used to the three little tiny babies over here. But uh, we gotta get her used to the rest of the herd and Ziggy Bird especially. Uh, Ziggy kind of really has a problem with all oh my are you going in there that's some guts right there if you're really going in there i'm only concerned with ziggy the other goats really don't care about other animals to be honest but uh ziggy really doesn't like dogs because every dog he's ever known has always barked at him ferociously and so my hope is that we can introduce him to phoebe from a young age and phoebe doesn't really bark very much so that she'll be the exception to his i must kill all dogs rule <laughs> He's not going to kill them. I'm just kidding. But uh, but he does really dislike them. You ready to go in, Phoebe? You ready for Daddy to take you in there? I'm not sure exactly the best way to conduct this. I think I'm a, I think she's trying to use the potty again. I can't tell. You use the potty in there. Come on. Hey, come on. Let's go. All right, we're going to walk in, and we're just going to see. Oh, okie dokie is another one that would probably kind of imperative to get a good first impression with. Right? It's a little okie dokie. Hi, okie dokie. It's a little puppy. It's a little puppy dog. All right. So, there, my okie dokie. Who's the good little alpaca? Who is this? Look at the little puppy dog. Yeah. That's so good. You get some first impressions of him. Hey, hero, look who this is. Hey, Carrie. This is a little puppy dog. You see it? Hey. You ready to meet Ziggy Bird? Hey, Ziggy Birdie. Look. Ziggy, it's okay. Hey, it's okay, Ziggy. Look, it's just a little puppy. Do you see it? It's just a little puppy, just like you. You're kind of like a little puppy because you're so playful and friendly. All right, do we put her down? I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the grass. I'm gonna put her down. We'll see who follows. Who wants to formally meet my little Phoebe? Oh, princess, what do you think, baby? Huh? Aren't these some weird-looking animals in here? <laughs> oh, you popping down next to daddy? Yeah, I feel like there's been so much going on with the other animals, you guys. The new puppy, the new cat that showed up, that I haven't actually made a video out here with the littles that this entire property revolves around. These are the, you know, the bedrock, the backbone of our sanctuary, our littles pasture right here. And I haven't actually got a video in here with them in a while, so I knew I needed to get back out. I've been out here a little bit, but I haven't even been spending as much time with them as normal, to be honest. And so I've needed to get back out here, spending a little more time with them, um, you know, making videos. And so this is a good way, I feel like, to kill two birds with one stone. We're getting the puppy some training. You know, I'm still getting to see her and grow up right before your very eyes. And we're getting back to our littles. They've been doing a really good job. I always joke about how they need to work, how they need to trim that grass down. Like, this is a sanctuary. It's their forever home. But I still want them to work and do their job. And um, you can look around, you can see that they've done their job really well. There is like no more extremely high grass. Like, oh, this is going to be bad right here. Don't mess with Death, he'll slap you, baby. Death, Hank, you don't, you don't want to do that. Hey, yeah, Death is about to pop you. You don't want to do that. It's okay. Yeah. She's used to, oh, goodness. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I need to let her learn or what. But she thinks she can run around and nip the goats and whatnot. And that they'll just, the goats will just run away from her. But Daffy is going to fight back. Anyways, yeah, you look around. Maybe it's a little bit high in that corner, but Hero's working right now. So is Carrie. They're eating it down. I'm real, real proud of them. Then you're wandering off, baby. Where are you going? <laughs> you're making it look higher than it is. Oh, my goodness. What a silly little dog. <laughs> hey, Tallulah. You okay? Did you get lost? Yeah, these goats, these goats can still fit in and out of the, uh, the pasture. So I'm sure she got in, and then she lost her her brother and her sister it's okay baby we'll find them in a second what do you think princess huh you like this pasture you like being out here no as i was saying though you just look around and remember how it was like a jungle out here a few weeks ago before and then even after the flood but uh jake's cows did an impeccable job with uh that area behind the gate over there we closed that gate we let them on that backside and jake's cows did great 
and that gave our animals, our goats and, you know, the alpaca a little bit less to work to, that they had to trim down. They only had this little square they needed to work on instead of this square and that square back there. And so they've done great. I'm real proud of them. They've done so good. They've done so good. You TTM, why does everyone want to TTM on my videos for, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Ziggy did really good with uh, the little puppy. I thought Ziggy was going to be the worst, but Ziggy actually did really good. Angel, uh, sorry, Okie Dokie is the one who actually struggled the most. He got excited a few times. I don't even remember if I got it on camera or not, but I know that I was recording and I could feel Okie kind of getting excited, so I had to stop recording and kind of use two hands to restrain him from her and so i probably stopped recording then but uh but yeah okie will be a work in progress no biggie though there's a goose what's that goose doing here the goose thinks it's a goat <laughs> now this is trying to work trying to eat a little grass down i don't think it's getting very much but at least it's trying hey baby Whoa, what a little surprise this is. This is good. This is a good humbling experience for Phoebe as well. I see her running up to all the goats trying to nick them, trying to bite them on the ankles like she does the little babies. And they're putting her in her place real fast. And they're rearing her, their heads back and she sees how dang big they are that, okay, maybe I shouldn't mess with them. So it's a good humbling experience for her. It's better to get all this out of the way when she's a puppy. It makes it a lot harder to teach important life habits once someone's an adult that goes for humans and animals i know that things that i learned to do when i was a child just they were learned so much quicker and easier and so much easier to retain than trying to learn it from scratch as i was an adult i guess it has to do with you know the brain and the human body and just just the mammal's body in general is such a, at a developmental state when you're young that it just retains stuff quicker and it kind of just it morphs into who you are as you're growing up and maturing but then once you become an adult i think everything just kind of becomes a little more rigid it just kind of wants to stay in place and so it's really hard to try to modify that or morph it into something different once you're already an adult i've just noticed that in life that things are so much easier to pick up and learn when you're younger when you're a baby than when you're full grown all right guys hey daffy come on princess come on oh chia's the princess today okay chia you're a good doggy too we love you so much chia you're gonna be a good big sister you're gonna teach her so much about all of this hey who's the good little doggy 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 that feels so good chia all right guys well with all that said i hope y'all enjoyed Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Elio.